Go ahead, close. Close. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing alginate impressions in my kitchen. <laughs> so if you've never taken an alginate impression before, these are just gonna be some tips and tricks on how to get a really good alginate impression. And then my awesome husband's gonna be letting me take impressions on him and he's actually never had impressions taken on him. So could go one or two ways, but <laughs> I'm hoping it goes well. But here are some of the things that you're of course gonna need for your alginate impressions. So you have your alginate right in here. And if you don't know anything about alginate, there's lots of different kinds. Um, I recommend the slower setting. There is fast setting, but I prefer the slower setting because it still takes about two and a half to three minutes to set up. But that goes by very quickly when you're taking impressions. So I really try to not get the fast setting kind. Alginate is actually made um, out of seaweed. There actually is seaweed in there. And of course, alginate is usually flavored. So this one that I have in particular is bubblegum flavored. And then of course you're gonna need a mixing bowl to mix the alginate in, and then some sort of spatula. And then you're gonna need your impression trays. There's a whole bunch of different kinds of trays. Um, of course there's different sizes. There's, you know, pedo, they're small, there's medium, they're large. Um, of course this is an upper, this is a lower. There's a dentalist trays. There's also these metal trays. Now, I don't know if you can see this, I'll hold this up a little bit closer. You see this tray has holes in it. So if your tray has holes in it and it's metal like this, you do not need a tray adhesive. But if your tray does not have holes in it and it is a metal tray, or it could be a plastic tray with no holes in it, you're going to need tray adhesive to make that alginate stick to your tray. Now, the holes, if you have holes, you do not need tray adhesive because the alginate goes through the holes and it will stick to the tray better. And then of course, which I've already filled up with water, but you have your little measuring colander here that you put your water in. Now with alginate, you always wanna use cold water because if you use hot water, it will set up faster. And even as someone that's been taking impressions for many, many years, I don't want my alginate to set up quickly because I want time to mix it. I want time to put it in my tray, to put it in the patient's mouth. Some patients will start talking or whatnot. So you wanna make sure you have plenty of time to get that impression tray into the patient's mouth. So yeah, let me grab my husband and we'll get started. <laughs> All right, so we're back. So it's impression time. All right, so my husband here is gonna be my great patient. And Howdy. hopefully he's not gonna throw up all over me, which does happen. <laughs> so, okay. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to try in which tray is going to fit your patient. So I already know my husband has a rather large mouth. <laughs> but of course you're not going to know that um, until you try in the tray. So you always basically want to start with the medium tray. A lot of people are not going to be the small tray, but if they look like they have a small mouth, you can definitely try that one in. But I always just go for the medium because most people are going to be the medium or the large. So... Try the large one in. Don't get it yet. Okay, so the large one fits him well. And the way you, you wanna check to make sure these fit, you wanna make sure their wisdom tooth or the very back molar fits into the tray. And then you wanna make sure this is not too tight on the teeth because if it's too tight on the teeth, you're gonna go through the impression material and it's gonna have little divots onto the tray which you don't want. So. This one fits really well. Let me show you guys what the medium or the small one would look like in his mouth. And you can see it's just not gonna fit very well. So if you can, well I can't really show the back of his mouth, but his wisdom teeth are sticking out of the back of the tray, so I know that's not gonna work. And up here, his teeth come really close up to the front of the tray, which you don't want because there's no room for the impression material to fit in between the teeth and the tray, if that makes sense. So now we're gonna try the bottom one. So he does have his wisdom teeth, so that does make it a little bit more challenging, especially if somebody has a small arch and they have all their wisdom teeth, it's gonna be a little bit hard to wiggle that large impression tray in there, but you're gonna to have to just try and hopefully that's gonna work out. 
So at the bottom, you want them to lift up their tongue. So go ahead and lift up your tongue. And it covers all of his teeth. It's not tight. It fits in there nicely. So that's good. So we're going to be using the large ones. Now, your other impression trays, if you have tried in their mouth, I always throw them away. Um, the metal ones, of course, you can sterilize. But the plastic ones, I just get rid of those. Okay. So then the next step is to kind of inform your patient what's going to happen because I don't know how many times I filled up an impression tray and then they start talking or they get on their cell phone and then the impression material sets up and then I can't get it into the mouth. And then also it's very important to let them know that once the tray is set that you cannot take out the impression tray because it is very messy and they'll be in there forever. So even I've had patients gagging, saying, take it out, I'm gonna throw up. You can't take it out. So you literally just have to be there like, I'm sorry. You have to kind of be the bad guy and be like, nope, and hold it in there. And they're probably, they might throw up in your hand, they might throw up in their lap, <laughs> whatever it's gonna be, you gotta hold it in. Okay? All right. So I always talk to my patient and let them know, we're gonna be taking impressions today. At first, I'm gonna fill this tray up with lots of goop and then we're gonna set the tray in. Now, once the tray is set, I can't take the tray out, so just try to bear with me and we'll get through this. <laughs> and then a technique you can tell them about gagging is if, um, basically gagging is all mental. So if they are gagging, you want to. <laughs> it is, it's just all mental. Just power don't, through. Yeah, you gotta power through it. So you wanna give them techniques to get through the gagging if they are a gagger. So the biggest thing I tell them is to wiggle their toes, which sounds really funny, but if they're focused on wiggling their toes, they're gonna do less gagging and they're not so focused on the stuff that's in their mouth. All right, so for a large impression tray, all alginate usually comes with some kind of measuring scoop. A large impression tray is always three scoops. So you take this, just got hard to show on camera, and you wanna get the excess off. So you just scrape the excess off with your spatula so it's not flowing over. Kind of like baking. Which my husband will hold it up for me so I can show you guys. So see how it's full? You want to just scrape the excess off. You don't want all that excess in there, like so. So that's two scoops and then three. And honestly, even for um, medium trays, I will still do three scoops because I rather have extra alginate and then not have enough. Because if you don't have enough or do you didn't mix enough and you notice that when you're filling your tray, it's kind of too late. You're gonna have to start over. And then the colander, it does have little lines on it for the measuring. So if you use a large tray, you're gonna go to the top. I go down a little bit further down from the top because I don't like really watery alginate. I want it to be a little bit thick because it's easier to manage that way. And then also, like I said earlier, you want to use cold water because hot water will make um, the alginate set faster. All right, you ready? <laughs> okay, so the top one is the hardest one to do for most people because when you fill up the tray with alginate, it's gonna leak out the backside. So it's gonna leak down the throat a little bit. So if people have a bad gag reflex, this is usually the one that's gonna cause the most trouble. So if you think someone has a bad gag reflex, if you want to start at the bottom one so they can get like a kind of a picture of what it's going to be like, you can do that. If you want to get the really hard one out of the way, some people just want to get the hard one out of the way and move on to the next one. So what would you rather do? Hard one or easy one first? Easy one. Okay. And then of course we're in my kitchen, but when you, if you were doing this, you want to make sure you're wearing your safety goggles and your mask and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so you have your bowl full of alginate and you're gonna pour your water in there, your cold water. Now this you need to mix up fairly quickly and it's almost mixing like cake batter. And you're kind of wanting to flip it in here like this. And this one actually is a purple color and it turns clear or a white color when it's set inside the mouth. So you wanna make sure all the like lumps are out of there, basically like a brownie mix. And then you wanna grab your tray 
and you're gonna put it into the tray like so. You wanna make sure you get it all on the front. I usually take the excess off the sides. See, it's already starting to turn like a lighter color, so then I know I need to hurry it up. Okay. I gotta put all that in yeah, my mouth? Yeah, go ahead and open. <laughs> okay, so you put the tray in, don't bite down. Lift up your tongue. Push down. You wanna put some pressure onto the tray and then close down. <laughs> and this is the important part. You wanna make sure you pull out their lip. I always grab excess um, alginate or extra alginate out of the bowl. <laughs> Miserable. <laughs> and I put it down here on their lip. Because you want to roll up their lip so there is, I'll show you guys when I pull up the impression. But you want, you don't want their lip to indent on the impression. You want that to have like a smooth, um, kind of like cusp, I guess you could say. But I'll show you when it comes out. So as you can tell, the alginate is already turning this white color and it's turning that color inside of his mouth as well. So it's still way too early to take it out, but probably in about 90 seconds or so we can take it out. So now is when I will clean this because it's easier to take off the spatula and stuff when it is not dried up. Do you not want to swallow? You can give your patient a paper towel so they're not drooling all over themselves but make sure you stay biting. <laughs> Aren't you glad you signed up for this video, babe? Just kidding, he didn't sign up, I just asked him to do it. So right now while it's setting up, I'm just cleaning out my mixing bowl. You can do this or you can have an extra bowl ready. It's up to you, but. This is kind of weird to do in my kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. I'll to check it to make sure it's time to come out. Obviously the color has changed, it's turned white, but it turned white a while ago and it wasn't ready to come out. So I always tell the patient to stay biting. I'm just gonna check the alginate, so do not open. And when I feel it, it is very like silicone-y, so you know that it's set, it's not sticky anymore. So go ahead and open. Did not swallow any of your saliva. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so this is the impression. Honestly, if I was doing this in office, I probably would do it again, but I'm not gonna torture you. Only because I don't know if his tray was large enough for his mouth. It looks like his wisdom teeth, since he does have his wisdom. This back one, I don't know if you guys can see. It's probably okay, depending on what we were doing, because when you pour this up, it will be fine. Um, but it's not one that I'd be like, oh, this is a perfect impression. Because up front here, you see some of the tray. So I probably would have put more material here, but I kind of ran out of material in my bowl. I mean, it's not a bad impression. It definitely captured everything that you needed. It's just not one that I'd be like, this is the perfect alginate impression. Mm -hmm. Alginate impressions are the very first impression that the dentist will take or that you will take. That's like the denture process or partial process. So usually it's okay if there's a few mistakes or if you're gonna do like a night guard or you know bleaching trays, it's all right. You were very drooly. You didn't swallow any of No, I was having to make sure I didn't throw up. Really? Yeah. That was the easy one. Oh. <laughs> it's good. It will definitely, you definitely could pour that up and it'd be a fine model. It's just not perfect. Okay. And I'm saying that because I don't like to have a tray show through the front of my impression. Do you guys see all that tray shows? I would like material to be covering that. But I'm also very picky with impressions, so that's just me. All right, we're gonna move on to the top one. So that was pretty awful for you. Yeah, they're all quiet. <laughs> Super excited for the hard one. Suck it up. Wiggle you'll, your toes. You'll get through this. I wiggled my toes a lot. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. It would help if you swallowed. Ugh. Also, you're not in a dental chair, so you would also lean the patient back a little bit in their chair because a lot of patients want to sit up, but that causes all their saliva to go forward. So if they were leaned back, their saliva would go down the back of their throat, which helps with the gagging as well. But of course, we're not in a dental chair, so sorry. <laughs> all right, we're gonna move on to the uppers, guys. So three scoops again. And you do have a very large mouth, babe. What's that have to do with anything? You just have a very big mouth. Like, that's our largest tray, and your teeth barely fit on all <laughs> Well, I used to be able to eat a whole Taco Bell burrito <laughs> in one bite. Bean burrito. Oh, that's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty big tray. <laughs> all right, so I have my cold water. So now we're going to do the upper. Some people, I don't know, some people think the upper is not that bad. I personally think it looks worse than the lower, but maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> I guess we'll see after we're done. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> so again, we're gonna be mixing. This tray definitely felt kind of too small. It was like squeezing. Yeah, that's our largest tray too that we have, but in office, if I was gonna retake that, I would have to add dental wax to the back of the tray. But even for his width, it was still kind of tight. Um, so that's kind of hard. Usually that tray fits everybody, but you sometimes would have to use, we're gonna fill up this tray, dental wax to extend the tray if it wasn't fitting all their teeth. Okay. Put your tongue in. <laughs> Don't bite down. So pressure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so breathe, wiggle your toes. Go ahead and close. Close. <laughs> okay, you can <laughs> Alright, you have to breathe. Close. You're gonna have to close. You have to let it set up. Sorry. So wiggle your wiggle your toes. Try not to think about it. You have like a minute. If you stay closed, it'll be better. Just breathe, breathe. You're doing great. You have to hold it in, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, I feel so bad. Okay, just, I'm serious, wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, think about something else. Sorry, babe. High like another 30 seconds so I can take it out. Great, almost done. Just keep wiggling your toes. You're almost done. Okay, I can take it out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Those are well, terrible. That's how you guys would handle it if they were gagging. You cannot take it out early. Even if they try to pull it out themselves, you really have to hold it in there because it will make a mess and it's gonna make, they'll be there for hours trying to clean it out of their teeth and everywhere else because if it doesn't set up, it's really, really hard to clean up. So of course he was gagging. So this impression is not the best. He didn't bite down all the way. So if we were in office, I would definitely torture him and make him redo it um but since we're not in office and he's not getting anything made i won't torture him again <laughs> but i will show you guys this impression you can tell that he did not bite down all the way of course um 
the alternate did not go over the sides, which you want. The lots of the impression tray is showing. He does have a rather large mouth though, so I don't. I mean, if he, if, if in office he was like, I'm absolutely not doing that again, depending on what he was getting done, if it was partials or like a denture, I would definitely go ask the doctor and see if this would do. But if it was like a bleach tray or um, like a night guard, I might just pour this up and see how the model turned out. If he was like, definitely not doing it again, which some patients refuse to take him again. But most patients will let you if you're doing something important like partials or dentures, but in office, I would protect these. Keep your teeth. You don't have to do this. Brush your teeth, people. <laughs> or for bleach trays or night guards too, but yeah. Um, Sorry for the disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show up close more of this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Uh, Hopefully you guys learned some things in this video. It kind of was a fail <laughs> a little bit and not your fault. It, the impressions are really hard to take. Um, but he does have a larger mouth and he also has all of his teeth. So that can be difficult. Um, definitely finding a tray that fits them. Like I said, this tray wasn't too tight on him, but he does have a very long jaw. So in the office, I definitely would put dental wax on the back of the tray um, to extend it. But since he's a gagger, if he couldn't do these, he probably wouldn't do that very well. <laughs> so honestly, if we were in office, I would show these to my dentist and depending on what we were doing, I would ask him if these were okay and I would just tell him that he's a gagger and he doesn't really want to do those again and just see what he said and the dentist could let me know if they, he thought they were good or not. Because like I said, if they're doing partials or dentures, these are like your initial impressions. They're your very first set of impressions, so they don't need to be perfect because if he was going through like a partial process or a denture process, he would be going through many more impressions. These would just be the initial ones. So I would definitely talk to my dentist. But yeah, I hope you guys learned some techniques or tips in this video. Sorry, I tortured you. <laughs> that was miserable. <laughs> and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.